Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Why Don't I Just Get Started, the YouTube video edition. Thank you for being here and for watching. Today's episode is called Sometimes We Work Anyway. And tonight I'm actually home a little earlier than usual because I did not go to work tonight or today at all. I just wasn't feeling great. I wasn't feeling horrible, but I wasn't feeling great either, and I thought, you know, I need to take care of myself. Yeah, I promised that I would, and so I am. But I created some goals for the day, just as I have been doing every day, and this was one of the goals. And I really didn't want to do this today, not because I don't like it or enjoy it, but I'm just trying to take care of myself. I'm not feeling well, as I said, but sometimes, sometimes we work anyway. Sometimes we work anyway. We do what we need to do because we need to do it, because we choose to do it. And I think that we need to work despite how we feel emotionally and how we feel physically. Sometimes we need to work. We need to do our work anyway, even if we're sad, even if we're angry, even if we're scared even if we're worried about something. We need to do our work anyway. And sometimes we need to do our work when we don't feel well physically, when we're sick or tired or cold or even hungry. Now, I'm not saying don't take care of yourself. What I am saying is that sometimes things happen and we're tempted to say, I'm just not going to do my work because I don't feel great. But what I found is often, even though we're not feeling great, getting the work done is still a very powerful way of feeling better and moving forward. I remember once I was working at a 7-Eleven and I was just exhausted. I hadn't slept for probably a full day, probably a little longer, and I was just exhausted and I was working the graveyard shift and the groceries were in, and I was exhausted. And I just wanted to sleep. That's all I wanted to do. But I thought, I can't fall asleep at work. So I started putting all the groceries away. Now, it wasn't my job. It was the manager's job. But I said, I've got to do this. And I remember I hit this wall. I just hit this wall where I felt like I couldn't do anything else. I could not do one more thing. But I decided, no, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get all these groceries put away, every single one of them. And I did. I got everything put away. And I thought, wow, when the manager comes in, she is going to be impressed. Well, it didn't quite work out that way. When she came in, she said, where are the groceries? And I said, well, I put them all away. You what? That was my job. She got really upset with me, and which made me upset in turn, and I just got really quiet, and I finished my shift, and I went home. And the next day, she apologized to me, but it was funny because it wasn't the reaction I was hoping for. But you know what? I had to work anyway because even though I was tired, I thought, you know, there's work to be done, and I'm going to do it, and I did. And there's work to be done today, and I'm doing it. And that's it. Sometimes we work anyway. Sometimes we rest and we take care of ourselves, but sometimes we work anyway. You'll know the difference. I'll say this, that on the times that I work anyway when I'm feeling bad, I always feel better afterwards. Maybe not a lot better, but a little better. And then on top of that, I have one more thing to add to my body of work that I wouldn't have had if I had succumbed to being physically or emotionally at less than my best. All right, that's it. My name's Robert Farrell. If you need to reach me, I'm at 619-672-0378. Give me a call. All right, thanks a lot.